Hello, my name is Rick Eckstein and I'm a client of uh, Fairhaven Wealth Management. And Mark has asked me to talk to you about one of my favorite hobbies, which is brewing home beer. Beer brewing at home is the same as beer brewing at these big uh, breweries. You start off with water, barley, hops, and yeast. The first step of the process is what they call mash. I actually have a big kettle here. You put the grains in this bag, fill, it up, fill the pot up with water, stir it, and let it steep for about an hour, kind of like steeping tea, at about 150 degrees. What this process does is it takes the starches out of the grains and puts them into the water. The second step of the process is called the boil. Turn the temperature up to boiling, 112 degrees. Boil for 60 to 90 minutes, depending upon the recipe. And uh, during that time is when you add hops. You have a little separate bag for adding hops. The hops do two things. First of all, they add some flavor, bitterness, aroma to the batch. Secondly, they do act as a preservative. After the, uh, and what, the, what does the boil do? Well, the boil converts the starches into sugar. The next step is the cool down. I have this uh, copper coil I stick inside my brew kettle. I hook it out to my hose. The boil go, is done outside, not in my basement, obviously because of carbon monoxide. Hook this up to my hose and then cool what is now called wort from boiling down to around 170 degrees. When that happens, then I go to the next step, which is called fermentation. I actually have two batches of beer here that I was brewing for Mark's Ma March Madness event, which was unfortunately canceled. Underneath here, I've got a, a stout, nice dark beer. And over here, I've got a farmhouse ale, which is also called a Saison. When I transfer the wort into this bottle, I then add the yeast. What the yeast does is it converts the sugars into alcohol and CO2 gas. So that's why I have this uh, item on the top here, which keeps the oxygen out because oxygen is not good. The last step of the process is to carbonate. I clean, there's two ways of doing that. I put them in bottles. I add some priming sugar, fill the bottles up, and then I cap them with caps that I've accumulated. Or the other part is I can keg. There's one of my kegs. I have another keg out in my refrigerator. And as soon as this is over, I'm gonna relax and have a cold beer. Couple last things. How do you keep track of temperature? I've got a thermometer. Actually, I've also got one of these meat thermometers that works good. Somebody will say, how do you determine the alcohol? I use a tool called a hydrometer that measures the gravity of the water before and after all the ingredients. And based upon that, you can tell what the alcohol content is. Another resource is that I've used is a couple books. This is a classic Bible of home brewing, The Complete Joy of Home Brewing by Charlie Papazian. And the other one is How to Brew by John Palmer. I hope while you are staying at home during the COVID-19 virus that you enjoy a pint of beer. But also I got this shirt from Donating Blood. So if you get a chance, give a pint of your blood so that uh, blood supplies can be taken care of. Good luck and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.